depth of, of who I am, and I think in the depth of who we all are, there is a, there's a sense of individuality and direction. And, and for me as an artist, I'm continually searching for that way of, of seeking to have some visual identity. younger um, I I felt that there was something a little bit different fairly a fairly creative even at schooling I remember drawing in school books and when when I should have been paying more attention to to the academic side of what they were teaching me I found myself just wandering out the window and just imagining things and 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 then continually looking away so I'd be walking home from school and sitting on the side of a hill and just looking at the world and, and trying to have a little bit more understanding. Working with a creative uh, aspect to your life is, um, is something that it's not that you can really be taught how to do. It's an interesting understanding that you need to believe that it's there and, and that you're born with it and that it's a, a part of who you are and then trying to cultivate that through life. When I was younger, uh, surfing was a big part of my life and my appreciation and just the awe of the ocean, uh, the creation of waves and how waves are formed and, and the whole aspect of, of, of that has is, is just been so inspiring for me to just sit on a headland and look at waves crashing into rocks and, and wind direction and, and all of this thing has just been something that I've always been very drawn towards. And um, so surfing became a part of my life in my late teens and, and gained momentum as I developed into my 20s and, and so my artistic career developed primarily firstly onto the surfboards that I would ride and, and, and I just found that myself instead of wanting to just surf on a, on a surfboard that was very plain and, and and very neutral in colour, I, I found myself um, painting them. And Through all the surfing aspect of my life, I, I came to the point where I realised that whatever I was putting my talent as, a, as, a, as an artist onto these surfboards, there was never lasting. So I really had to make some decisions as to how do I take my creativity on a more permanent type of level. And I knew in my heart that it really had to be more of a permanent art form. And I settled into Sydney. I, ha I had a friend who who, would, who gave me some advice about a person that had an art gallery in the Bondi area. And I remember visiting these people, being with these guys. They were fairly uh, modern in their terms of putting things together from 
say, a, a decorating aspect and I would visit with them and I'd be still wearing board shorts and thongs and sort of just come from surfing and they'd say to me, look, Jeff, you really, you, you, you need to dress a little bit different than this and just um, clean up your act a little bit. So I, I understood where they were coming from and so they sort of helped me with a bit of my manicuring. But it also, too, it, it gave me a sense of discipline as to how to how to sort of change from one type of way of doing things into another form. And it was quite interesting how my life changed from that point and I began to, to operate purely as an artist on canvases and and also on to small mediums. I've been fortunate enough to, to have my own gallery and studio um, and place myself at a, in, a, in a time frame. What I've, what I've learned is that time is such a crucial thing to all of us and um, in my younger years when I would have to travel to my studio, I would be very um, anxious about the fact of being halfway through a project and then having to close the door and, and then try to come back to it at a, at a later stage and sometimes that could be 24 hours or a week or even sometimes a month before I had time and so your thought pattern changes along the journey of that. So you approach the, the work that you were once doing from a whole different perspective. And people often sort of say to me about the work ethic, uh, comments like when you have an idea, do you get up at two, two or three o'clock in the morning and paint the pictures and, and then you can't sleep anymore. And, and I used to be like that very much so, but the ideas come to me now on a regular basis and, and so I find that I can maintain what I was meant to be doing because of instinct tells me that this will be the next phase of my picture making process. As, as an extension to, to my studio and gallery, I've opened a, another gallery, gallery type of shop really and um, it's, and, and it's located right on the on the ocean side of um, of Coffs Harbour, with lots of people um, visiting. It's very very busy on a daily basis, and it's it's quite stimulating to to meet and greet and talk to people about my art and, and things of that level. So it's a fantastic location to be positioned right on the ocean, watching the waves crash by, um, engaging with people. It's pretty pretty special, really.